I was planning to do a little video where I talk about Canon support fixing the S100 camera, and I will do that in a second. But first, I'm just going to do a little update on sort of my setup here. So, here is my desk, which is uh, from 1959. It was made by hand by a local company in Toronto, September 29th, 1959, and it's a very nice desk, very solid, very heavy, and it's got pull out on either side here. This one has this stuff in the way, but it has a pull out on either side. It's got the the drawer here and uh, drawers on each side, which are good. Behind here, I've got a shelf that my dad made recently. It was actually for the monitor, but it turned out I just used it for stuff behind here and what I did was I just kind of pulled the desk out like four or five inches and then put the shelf right up against and added a bit of extra space at the back here for stuff and then this is on the desk here I've got my 27 inch retina Mac I mean 27 inch cinema display and then the 15 inch retina MacBook Pro and then recently, I got this st stand. Well, it's not a stand. It's like a shelf. It was made for kind of like a shed, like a workroom, like a work table type of thing by one of our neighbors down the street. And uh, he was getting rid of it. So I picked that up. And it's really nice. There's a separate video about this. But it's, it's uh, really solid. Uh, made of thick wood and it's very strong so I used it over here in the corner to put my my amp which is a, a class audio DR9 which is a, a very nice amp and the preamp up here which is the Adcom GFP565 it's a very old preamp but it still works very well and then over here I've got my Samsung 27 inch SyncMaster 27.5T and so I use this over here as a secondary monitor and uh, I can tip it and look at it from over here at the desk or I can watch it when I'm lying in the bed there. Now ideally uh, I would have a bigger screen there like a 42 inch uh, TV or something like that which I might do uh, shortly but for now I'm just using this and it's not too bad but it is a little bit small but anyways the, the main new thing here, the newest thing is this shelf that I have the uh, the stereo stuff on and I really enjoy it like I said I got it uh, from one of the neighbors who's putting it out and then I'll just give you a quick look here at the speakers our clips uh, RF82's and uh, I used to have a couple of subwoofers as well, uh, uh, RW10D subwoofers, I believe, but I don't have those anymore now. I just have the, the towers only, RF82s, and they're really nice. They're they have a lot of uh, oomph, a lot of kick, um, but they also have a really clean sound. The the horn tweeter is very clean and it's very crystal clear it has a nice sound to it so that's what I use obviously for the computer and for whatever sort of sound stuff sometimes with the iPod or whatever so that's my setup and I don't really have too much else I just have the the uh, tripod which is a Manfrotto ART 055 and this is not like a carbon fiber tripod or anything this is a steel tripod so it's very heavy um, but it does uh, it's very strong obviously and very heavy but that does help it uh, stay on the ground well during my uh, windy days and stuff so that's kind of an upside downside obviously is carrying it Anyway, so that's my setup for now, uh, an updated version of it, and um, 
uh, I'll talk to you later. So I'm back here and I just wanted to point out a few things that I'm using that I enjoy. One of them is this here, which is the laptop stand. This is the M stand by Rain Design, and as you can see, it's a very similar design to the stand on the iMac or the cinema display from Apple. Um, it's a nice thick chunk of aluminum. It's very heavy and it's very solid. There's only a tiny bit of uh, flex to it, uh, but there's a big, as you can see, it's made. This thing's actually flush with the original unibody MacBook Pro you can see it's quite a bit uh, taller than the Retina MacBook Pro but it's made to be flush with the original MacBook Pro and the good thing about that is that it's going to make sure that the thing doesn't slide off the front there's a few other stands I've seen that actually don't have they just have like uh, rubber on the part that the laptop sits on but they don't have the actual physical thing at the front to stop the laptop and hold it up so I prefer this just having the thing at the front uh, and um, but it's just sturdy it doesn't have any flex or anything so it's a, it's a good quality stand back here I have the Sans Digital Mobile Raid MRTUT Plus in black and this is a two bay hardware RAID enclosure and I have two drives in here in RAID 1, mirrored RAID and I use that for my photos and then over here this is a 3 terabyte lacy minimus drive which is made out of an aluminum enclosure, it's a single drive in an aluminum enclosure that's quite compact and it has a really high quality good feel to it. There's a separate video on that on the channel if you search Lacey or Minimus. Uh, and then here there's a pluggable 7 port USB 3 hub which I've been using for a few months now and I have a video on that too. Uh, I have all three hard drives connected to it and it's a USB 3 hub and that's connected to the to the laptop and it's worked really perfect ever since I got it. And then over here, this is an older, from 2011, Phantom Drives, 2 terabyte uh, USB 2 drive. And I just use that for time machine backups. So that just automatically backs up the uh, internal flash drive on the laptop. And then this is a really old uh, external DVD writer from 2007. And uh, I rarely use it, but it still works and I have that, I've had that for years and then over here are my headphones which are AKG K142 HDs which are around hundred dollars you can probably get them for less and uh, I think they sound good and are pretty good quality for around hundred dollars but if you can spend a bit more then I would recommend uh, having a look at the MKBHD video Audio Technica ATH M50 review those are around 190 and from what I hear those are extremely good so that's a few other things and the cameras that I use are uh, Canon S100 uh, Canon G15 uh, hopefully Sony RX100 soon and I have the Sony WX200 